uh, acceleration. He was sent up to us as a broken three-year-old. Uh, he was a big, skinny, leggy fella, a bit like myself. But he always had a big action, always very clear of his wind. From his very first start, he's always showed heaps of ability. His form always stacks up. Every race he's raced in, the form has been good out of it. We're, we're pretty lucky to find him. To even have a horse mentioned getting into the Melbourne Cup, it's just like, you can't even dream about it. You're just, you're going from maidens to 58s, and now you're talking about Melbourne Cup. It's just, you don't think it's gonna happen to you. Until the Andrew Ramsey is mentioned, you just think, oh, it's, it would be great to watch the Melbourne Cup, but if we had a runner in it, there'd be a lot of extra people at Flemington that wouldn't usually be there. <laughs> Very confident, he gets a two mile, loves Flemington. Hopefully it's a good three, gets plenty of room, relaxes a bit, gets a good barrier, and yeah, I can't fault him at all. Well, when I landed in Victoria, I was working with Kieran and then Paddy Payne. I don't think you could get two better horsemen or two better trainers to work for, I don't reckon. Both great horsemen, both were jump jockeys. Yeah, no, I was, I was very lucky. Now, they made me work, don't get me wrong, but great people to work for. We're pretty full all the time. We've been very lucky with the contacts that we've had. We've been full ever since we moved up. We do have one spare paddock down there that we won't put any horse in. I heard Terry Henderson from OTI I was interviewed a couple of years ago about um, how good the ex-jump jockeys make as trainers. So that paddock's empty for it whenever he wants to send one up to us. <laughs> <laughs>